Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. Boom, boom. I guess Coogan don't love me because he sent his little brother, but it's all right, though. It's cool. <laughs> Tell Coogan I asked Coogan. I know he likes AJ's balls, but it's all right. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of uh, Joshua starting sort of the beef today, if you like? We knew that was going to come because I beat him every which way from press conferences to rap battles to Instagram memes and beef and all that. I beat him. So we, I knew he was going to try and hype himself up to do what he had to do and make himself not look bad in front of the, the, the UK press. But, man, the UK press know I could turn up already. They know I could be rated off. But I just like, it's not, it's not real to me no more. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it for, for I'm not doing it for, for, for entertainment. Like, I do this shit for real. So for me to get hype and get mad, it's just not, I'm not in the mood. It's not, it's not, it's not there. It's not, it's not something that I, that I plan on doing. You know what I mean? Like I said, I already told my team, I'm cool, man. Like, mm. I mean, the tea's nice, the weather's nice. I'm just going to relax, enjoy the weather, and get this bullshit over with and go to training camp, bro. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Um, the reaction over here from the New York press conference was that mm. some of the comments were a bit up the, above the mark, if you like. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of respond to that? Do you care? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, man. The whole thing is that I know the, the UK fans are a little more reserved. They're not used to that kind of conversation. Um, they're not used to kind of that... How can I say, uh, static? We call it static, you know what I mean? Like, you're not used to that kind of conf confusion, but that's everyday shit in New York. Somebody step in your sneakers, you about to get it on. And you step on my new Jordans, you about to get it on. <laughs> so if they, I get it, they're not used to that culture, you know what I mean? But at the same time, the UK fans love American culture, rather be hip hop to rap music, the way we do certain things. So that's the way how we do certain things. We, we don't get posh. When it's, when it's beef and it's, it's, it's that energy that I'm just gonna step to, like, yo, bro, we got a problem? You want to solve it now? What's good? You know what I mean? So that's all it was. But like I said, man, like it happened. I said what I had to say. What's done is done. I'm not regretting it. You know what I mean? Like I punked his ass and that's it. Next. Did you see his freestyle? It was trash. <laughs> what do you think it was? Are you seen the freestyle? We thought about I've it. I've seen both. Uh, who, who's better? No comment. Are oh, you a piece of shit, bro? <laughs> 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 you should. You, you know who's better, bro. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, you already know who, who sounds more like they know what they were doing on the mic, you know what I mean? But like I said, man, uh, so I'm, anything he do, I do better, bro. Couple of comments in the press conference I want to pick up on. Firstly, mm. you said that over here in the UK now, that Tyson Fury is the man rather yeah. than Joshua. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people talk more about Tyson Fury. Like, I mean, Tyson, 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 Tyson. My whole Instagram feed was me and AJ, and then Tyson, Tyson, Tyson. Tyson. So it's very, it's very, it's very, you know, back and forth. But I'm hearing Tyson name a lot more right now in the, in the UK. Uh, in America, it's me, Deontay, and of course him now because me and him got the fight. But yeah, I mean, after I knock AJ out, man, it's a wrap. So what in the UK you think Tyson's number one? Yeah, right now the Tyson's really number one. Okay? You know, he's not, that's a, that's a Tyson, even though Tyson clowns Ron, he, he fools Ron a lot. Like, he's just a jokester, and we know that. And he says things for camera because it's entertaining. But deep down, Tyson's the real one. You know, he says things from the heart. Uh, he comes out about... You know, he's, he's vulnerable. He talks about our life experiences, the reason why, you know, we go through things in life. And he's a fighter. And that's great. I think that's amazing because what happened is athletes and, and entertainers put on this fake front like everything's pretty and everything's nonchalant, like everything's perfect. And the average, the average person, a fan, knows life has struggles, has ups and downs, paying our bills, our kids are sick, our family sick. So it's good to hear an athlete come out and speak about the things. It's encouraging. You know, he encouraged me sometimes. Like, I'm like, oh man, Tyson's a decent man. And he's popping shit about some dumb crap. But I get it though, like, that's cop chasing. You know what I mean? He's, he call it, he's, ch he's chasing the buzz right now. Me and AJ's the buzz. And him and Deontay trying to hype their fight up that they're probably going to announce soon. But I can't too, I don't care about all that. You know what I mean? I'm focused on what I got to do. They're, they're focused on what we doing. You know what I mean? That's how I know that our fight, me and AJ fight, going to be bigger than this. I'm from New York, so it's in my backyard. So, like I said, man, it's just, it's about being real and being true to yourself at the end of the day. And if Tyson keep spreading bullshit, then he's going to look fake. So I think he should just keep to what he's been doing and that's talking well, about mental health issues and other crap, you know? Well, I know Coogan's already spoke to you about the sparring stuff, so I'm not even going to go into that. But just the last one on Tyson. How do you compare his win to Klitschko, uh, into Joshua's win? Um, I think Tyson beat the better Klitschko. Um... You know, he was active still. Um, his fight before that, he won. You know, but he lost the fight two years left and then for Anthony Joshua. And had Anthony Joshua out. But he just kind of laid off the, the trigger a little bit. You know, kind of backed off and gave Anthony Joshua a chance to come back in the fight. So, like I said, I think Tyson's a spectacular knockout. Yeah, you can say it's a better win look-wise. But Tyson was the original person really beat Klitschko and took his self-esteem down. So, like I said, it is what it is. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? 
Yeah, what the past is past. You can't dwell on it. I mean, they won. It is what it is. Where's this animosity between you and Joshua come from? Is it a personal thing? Yeah, it's definitely personal at this point because I feel like when you got a when you go to war, and in in you're in the government. The government says they put you, they drop you off in Afghanistan or Iraq or Desert Storm. Where they put you at? They drop you off there and say, "This is what we got to do." Now, you can't say, "I'm not going to snipe this person's heads off because I don't know him. I have no animosity." You already have a built-up raid. This is your job. It's everyday thing to do. So once they give you a mission, you got to go in there and attack. Same thing with me. The minute you sign a contract, or you're in my way, you're the mission. You're my goal. My goal was Klitschko, whoever had the belt. Now he has the belt. And plus he's fake. So now I really want to whoop his ass. So he's just the, he's the mission. This is the mission. And I and I program myself this for the last two three years. This is the guy that I'm gonna have to whoop his ass and take everything from him. So he's the mission. But I don't like him as a person. Either, I think he's a fraud. Just the last question. What do you make of him saying that he's gonna reconstruct your face? Man, listen, bro. We've seen. Both of us in tough, some, some tough fights. You see me some kickboxing fights. The thing about him, he's right. Oh, he's never done nothing else except box. I'm a fucking warrior. I'm a fighter. I could do anything from MMA, kickboxing. Boxing. I'm a fighter. I adjust to any one of these motherfucking sports. So I'm trying to say. So he's just a box. He can use two hands. In a street fight, he would never beat me. I'm a million years. He'd be owing the hundred. In a boxing fight, this is his best chance to maybe try to beat me. But it's not gonna happen. You see what I'm trying to say this is the only chance. He said, I knock people out. I have more knockouts than him. Believe that I have more knockouts than him. And my combined fight in professional sports. So for him to talk all that dumb shit, he's been hurt, he's been dropped. I've never done none of that. Never happened to me any of my sparring. After I have 100 rounds of Klitschko. So like I said before, he can talk and hype himself any way, which way. Women lie, men lie, and numbers lie too. So look at the fucking stock market. But one thing, <laughs> baby, we backs up what the fuck he says. Big Baby Miller, appreciate your time on IFL TV as always. And uh, we'll catch up soon, brother. Hey, man, let's get it happen.